microphone. This morning's meeting was very well attended. It was extremely productive. And I think we all learned a lot about the process and where we are. And I just want to start off by saying one thing we learned that these are our proposed rules. They're not in place. There is going to be definitely time for people's input. And as a result of the meeting this morning, and we'll share that with you at the end of this meeting too, there's a committee being formed where some architects and builders and other people are going to start meeting. And I want to introduce Jose Ruiz, who is the chief uh, engineer for the municipality, and they'll be meeting with him on Mondays when he's here. So he'll tell you all about the process. We have some slides. We'll be having it translated because the slides are in Spanish. So we'll have translations for you. In order so that everybody can be heard and you know get the thing, it would be great if you could like listen to the presentation first and hold off most questions to the end. Otherwise, we'll never be able you know to get through it. So without any further ado, I'd like to introduce Josué, thank you. Well, thanks to everybody who showed up. Um, my name is Josué. I'm in charge of construction department at the Muni. Um, I'm super happy to be here. I grew up here. I'm from here. So in the morning, I just saw all my friends here. So <laughs> same thing now. I was kind of worried because I moved to Nicoya like five years ago. So five years ago, I don't practice my English. I don't know how bad it is. <laughs> so I apologize. If, if somebody can help me at some point, uh, please. <laughs> Do it. Okay, basically we're going to try to talk about our work in the, in the regul regulatory plan that we try to do here in, in Osara. There's a plan for the whole Nicoya, not only in Osara, but for the develop in a, in a better, in, a, in the best way, and uh, try to, to improve and protect that natural resources that we have. Basically, is everything that is on the ground, especially the water, right? So all this regulation is about that goal. We are working now in this temporary re uh, regulation for the buffer in the Refugio de Vida Silvestre Nacional, which is a, like the, the only short time uh, tool that we have to, uh, to use before we have the final zoning plan and all the process. Because we have, we are working in that, that's gonna take us a lot of time, a lot of uh, money for the local government. And uh, we don't have like now like that kind of that kind of budget for the whole project. Also we have like one great thing now the the entire government in Costa Rica, we now have an architect as the, the wife of the president, and that's, that helped us a lot in this area. Because we noticed the last government wasn't like that easy to work in this kind of uh, project. And now we feel that they're like pushing more and give, it, give us like opportunities for work in this, in this, in this area. <coughs> we are selected by, uh, for the 21st concerts that they're going to help us with budget for some <coughs> with our institutions. Uh, everybody can think that we are moving, it's kind of easy for us. The answer is no. We are too far from that. We know and, and we know very well the frustration that some of you, when you try to do some, some work at the Ministerio de Salud, for example, and if you're thinking that money, because it's part of the government. We have some good relations with the ten and other institutions. There's no, I think they are like harder with us. <coughs> so we're working now uh, in this. We have a team, like official team, to work this project at the moment. This team is we share the responsibility with. Joanna, which is an engineer for the morning. We have two guys from the main council from, from Muni, which is like the political staff. They work with that. 
and we have representation for the civil people. In this case, uh, Cookies is working with us, straight, with us. Yeah. <laughs> also, we have an architect from Nicoya, Elbertia. She is the director of architecture in the Latina. And also, we have Sinia, which is uh, she was with the Minaya in Sinac. So, there they joined the team, and we are trying to figure out how to do this. One of the problems that we have, we don't have a specific regulation for zoning plans in Costa Rica. We use like some part from here, some part from there. So it's kind of hard. We have a good thing. Last year, they approved like the final uh, manual for make zoning plans. Uh, we didn't have, we have one last year, but it wasn't like that clear. Now we have a new version, and it's super. It's just like what we Everybody can follow up, and, and, and it's, all, they explain everything like better with all the days, times, people that need to be working in that process and all that. So this is one of the tools that we have because that's going to take us some time. Uh, the government is going to support us uh, with some resource that we don't need to pay them back, like AXA, and we have, we are included in the first 20 monies in the pack. So we will need to to apply that money in this project for the next three years. <coughs> so we are talking about maybe have a sunny plan in the next four or five years. So it's not like that, that easy. So this is one of the, of the tools that we found that we can use in order to try to prevent like big, big projects and try to protect the refugee. It's part of that those studies that they made uh, in 2009, it result of side studies when they just go and make uh, wells and study what is on the ground, they found the wild that is important to protect. And in base of that, they make some information, technical information that we use in the whole process. Now the buffer zone. This little light green is about the river, just in front of the beach. And they define that area like five kilometers after that line. So from here, five kilometers to here. Mm -hmm. uh, so you know, Nosara town is around here. So you have a very idea how, how big it is. So this area, they subdivide. Basically in the first kilometer, the first 1,000 meters, they call it like the, the first impact zone, something like that. And the second impact zone, which is like this, this, another word for vulnerability. That's a hard one for me. <laughs> so that that part is. Uh, yeah, this is part of the topics that they they consider in the. In the side studies, this is about how vulnerable is the <laughs> So you can the idea for this regulation is now is now official for use. That's one of the things that you need to have in mind. We as we have the proposed for the regulation and we need that you guys study that proposal and make notes about you consider what you consider that they need to fix or include or anything. Start over. Exactly. Mm -hmm. What? Start over and PSO toilets. Yes. This is not that one thing that thing that you need to be sure now and have in mind that this is not official. Right? We are just starting the official process to make it official. Right? So now that we need from the community is that they share the information and they make notes for us, basically. Everything that you might consider that we need to consider or, or add, or you, you can say, I'm not agree about that high, or I'm not agree about that. Maybe you can consider like 
have this height because this and this and this and this. That's like that our goal now. For example, for our meeting in the morning, we we already have the first proposal or the first document and they recommend things. <coughs> right? and that's like the, the what we need from you right now. That you need to know that information, you talk with your partners, your friends and everything, and make notes. Uh, this year we start a project here in Osara. So we open an office all Monday from 8 to 4 uh, here next door. So from next Monday, please be comfortable to go there and talk about this. We're going to be there for everybody. We try to, to have like the most opinion possible and try to make this not like something that money can just apply in Osara. Uh, we need to try to get something from town and make it real with all the situations that we have here. So you can find like uh, about the footprint of the construction in, in, in this part that we're going to have like max footprint for the first impact area, about 40% of the area of the lot. So basically uh, you can uh, being more than that, and for the second area, we're gonna have max 50% of the lot. About footprint, construction for footprint, right? This is like a base. We need like a point to start, and this is our start. That's the reason because we need the, the information that you. Can I ask you a quick question? Is there at, any, at this point, is there any distinction between commercial and residential? No. Nothing. No, we are and kind of far from that point. And parking? 40% would include parking or not include no. parking? No. That includes uh, like roof areas and pools, for example. Okay. Also, uh, for that zoning, we are kind of far. But we, we can talk about this for these topics like in, I don't know, like two or three years we're ready to talk about that. For nice to early think about this kind of thing. So full thing is gonna be like that. Uh, also there's that our point the start point for segregation for the lots is about a thousand square meters for the first air uh, impact area and 270 for the second. So that means the That means that in this first area, about 100,000 uh, meters, the less unit or the less area that you need to park in a property is gonna be like 1,000 square meters, right? And for the second area, it's gonna be 270 square meters. Another thing that is also important is about the height, the building's height. For the pairs, uh, impact area is going to be max six meters from the ground to the beam. You see, like the support of the roof, right? Without including the roof. And for the second impact area, is going to be nine meters. Same from ground to the structural beam that we have. All of this is not like you know, this is our just the start point again. And we have the same com conversation in the morning. And everybody was like, no, six meters and all of But we have now some options that they just apply to change that. And that's the thing that we need right now. There's also another thing about uh, line, line in the construction that. Uh, that they didn't consider. The point about this is that we try to prevent having like a straight line to the beach and the, the pool, right? About to, to protect that area of the line. And also, I think we need to get more information about that and we are open to set a different things uh, for, for, this, for this part. 
Okay, there's another uh, topic in the regulation. They talk about the fences, the property fences, the, what kind of uh, fences do you use to apply. They recommend to use like uh, natural fences with trees from here or, or, or anything from, from the site. And also, we have a regulation for the public lighting also that we need to consider and just just to mention that those parts are recommendations, so those are not mandatory. Yes. <laughs> so we thought in the morning, and that was like the main thing about how <clears throat> how is the process of this. So I'm gonna try to explain them. Um, we feel that there is like bad information some point here in the community because we feel that people just feel that we are trying to just do this and that's it. So it's not our goal. We try to do this process uh, not as something that we can just apply. We try to do the work that people need that we do, right? Uh, so we need, we have a, a start point right now, which is the document that uh, we can email you. Uh, later, our idea is that you guys can make all the comments that you consider, so we can adjust even our our information. Uh, we need we have the proof to the main council and uh, the money because that's part of the legal process. Before to make any uh, any official thing, we need to approve of them. That part we already have it. For that, we need uh, a start point, that, which is like the document, and we have it. They, they, they check all the documents, they make notes to us, we change it, and now we are trying to figure out how to make it public. And for that, we need to open like the official comment time for the people, the public uh, official comment, uh, comment time. And for that, we need to uh, just put it in a newspaper, official newspaper in Costa Rica. And that we, we are waiting for that right now. One of the things that we handle in the morning is that this, soon as we put it in this newspaper, we're going to have like one month for people make official comments, right? And we, we are doing this because that's the official process. We need to do it. There's no way how we can make this official without that line. So uh, all the architects and lawyers for the morning, they decide what they want more time before we put the regulation and the newspaper. So we handle another month before that. So our, our goal right now is in the next month, we will have a meeting with you guys, try to talk about this. All the comments that you have, you can let us know. We're gonna be here all Mondays. Also, you can email us and maybe coordinate with Cookies also and the NCA. Uh, or let us know that notes. So uh, we're just trying to have the first, the first time in the, the newspaper. We're gonna probably have like a better document with all the notes coming for everybody in town. So after that, we're gonna have an extra 20 days, like official 20 days, to do more comments. So we're expecting that we're going to have kind of less comments, but we need to have it. And we're looking for another time at the newspaper for making it just like official. Right? So that's basically what's going on. We feel, uh, soon as we, feel, we feel that we have some, probably I say mistake, I don't know if that's the word, but I noticed that we have information down before we feel we have. So I know everybody is trying to contain the worry of this, <clears throat> but uh, we just try to make it like real in the, in the property way, and just to consider in this process all the comments and what people think now. <clears throat> I don't know if somebody has a question. 
So is any kind of um, sewerage treatment going to be as part of this plan? Is, is any kind of regulation on septic systems? Uh, we are probably going to do it. I'm not sure if well, not sure about the how, but definitely that's one of the comments that we have in the morning. So officially now, it's not in the document. Probably that's one of the things that we're going to try to do in this time. In the temporary or the long term? Both. Okay. One of the important things that you need to consider, when we have the, the final zoning plan, uh, all this is going to be included. Actually, our area for the zoning plan is bigger than this. So probably we're going to talk about another third area that we don't have any studies right now. We have a study from this area, from 2009. So probably we, we're working to make a studies for this new area and just put both together and just make one thing. Okay. Can you talk about the maximum amount of footprint of the structure? Uh -huh. Is there anything about how many structures you can put on any um, Per square meter, per yeah. number of meters. Well, basically, you add. You don't need to be like. You don't need to have only one solution. You need to be under the forty percent with everything All that you have. All the structures, okay. Because there's some concern about um, containers and, tra and trailers and things yes. like that that are crowding onto lots. So this would be this would cover that. Yes. Okay. Also, okay. also, if you have already a property. Just uh, out the edge about this regulation, you don't need to be worried. Mm -hmm. I mean, you have something that is smaller than a thousand square meters in the first impact area. It is what it is. You're not gonna to make you get more property or, or that kind mm -hmm. of stuff. Probably, if you don't, if you don't have any construction, you need to apply the the footprint regulation when you plan to do something, right? Okay. See? So how did you arrive at 270 meters for the zone outside of that? It seems awfully small. Yes. There's a few parameters. Most of those are like in the in the impact area, in the, the studies that we have for that. And also, um, we consider the area of the social home, which is like 42 square meters. And we try to also found like a property size to fit one house of those, hitting all the setbacks and all that. So that's basically how we get to that number. Okay. Um, just as a comment, Jim, general comment on this. Um, first of all, I want to say to the NCA that I personally and the community probably appreciates the input that you've given here. But I want to be just really clear that the, the Muni understands that some of us have a different vision than the NCA. And so it's really important that their opinion and the NCA opinion are equally weighted. Um, most of the things, I personally agree with the NCA, but I have some very distinct dis disagreements with them. So it's important that those of us who are in that group are seriously considered, not, not that they're the overall uh, representative representative of, of all of that, That's what happens all the time in all the zoning process. So all the countries and all the areas. Uh, we have, like I said, like a new manual where you can see all the process to get all the products. And I can say that it's not about what somebody wants. So that's the reason because we need, and we need to include all the asadas, all the developers, all the builders, all, everybody that can say something, <coughs> we need to <coughs> Register that comment and just consider it. Okay. Definitely. So it's not about NCA right now. They they just uh, they are part of the commission that we're working right now because we consider that definitely because we're working in Poly and Osara, we need to somebody from here. Right? So that's that's the thing. In the morning they say that they're gonna have meetings right now and talk to her, to cookies, and yet cookies gonna bring us the information. Also we gonna we're planning that all Mondays we're gonna we close here at four and we stay until six to just talk about this. So you are free to come and, and just talk and make, make good comments and of course it's gonna be it's gonna be good help for us. I'm submitting plans today. Uh-huh. 
what are the guidelines I have to follow? Uh, the normals. We, we can do this. Okay, so this does not apply to what I'm currently... Except. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yes, for this make official, we, I think we're talking about two and two and a half months. This timeline to make it official. So we are working in the main sewing plant, and that's going to take us probably like three, four years. So that's just before the sewing plant. In this temporary plan, has anybody proposed anything to consider? folks that perhaps made investments prior to this coming to light and uh, their timeline can be longer than those two or three months. Mm -hmm. Well, this is, like I said, this is like just a start point for us, right? Those are the, like the things that we need to consider and be sure that you guys know and you guys can make us uh, all the notes that you can. For the main sewing plan, it's not about that, it's not a time to talk about that. We need to do some big work right now before we get to that point. But as soon as we get there, I just let you know for sure that it's going to be an open job and we're going to be like working like this in a meeting like this probably for the whole year, like every month or every two months, let's say. Wait, I'm sorry, didn't you just say in two and a half months something's going to go into law? Or make this official. Yeah, right. Sure. Submit it. Yeah, and this, and this is not, that's like the first, the first option, like based in the, the first 20, first month and seven months, right? But for example, if you have more concerns and we don't have the time to apply it, for so sure we're going to make more time. So we depend on how it's going to be the comments, how it's going to be like the information that we get from people and to apply it and have some middle point that we can handle. So, so within the next two to three months, let's say before this becomes official, we have the option to alter this a little bit mm -hmm. throughout our meetings. So we could, for example, come up with commercial versus domestic uh, re um, no. residential. No, not, not now. Not this now. Just even, in these, even in these, but even within the, these parameters, we couldn't make a... No, not thing. now. It's too early to talk about that. And this is because just, uh, just a tool that we can approve and use before that. For that, we're going to have more time, we need more budget to work. And uh, this is like the best thing to do, just to pretend not having like a... 10 floors building next door, right? So for those guys that are something like that, they're going to stop them right now. So that's, that's like a way we try to do it. Yeah? Uh, is there a satellite uh, map and topo available of this exact area, the map that you showed earlier? Do <laughs> you have satellite imagery and all of that with topo and Yes. And is that available for us to yes. get a copy of? Part of our work with all the swimming plan, all the institutions just recommend us work for all the employees, the canton, the whole thing. That is too big for us. And basically, we're going to try to work in May the studies per square kilometer, and that costs a lot. So, from, if you're talking about Escazú or Cuyabá, that's just too small. They can just put like, I don't know, 200,000 make all these courses. We have like five times more than here. So that's why all the resources that we're getting, some of them, we buy it for all the area, not only for Poya and Osara. We have a capacity plan in Muni, and these guys are like working all the time and updating all the information. We bought last time a picture for the whole thing in a good scale, mm -hmm. super clear scale, and we got it for the whole area. We're going to use it for this only now for the sign of Nicoya, but we have other information. And uh, establishing roads and infrastructure throughout that whole yeah. 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 What's, the, what's the existing footprint regulation for the, the two zones right now? Yeah, we use the number in the general law 
and that's going to be like 65%. That, that's the rule right now. Exactly. Okay, because I think some people, somebody said at the last meeting that it was 75, and I always thought it was basically almost 100. So some people yeah. might start looking at a number higher, but if the rule is already 65, then it's not going to go up, it's going to go down. Yes. Okay, so that, that's what people need to know is what exists now. Yes. Okay. Could you allow, sorry. I just want to go back to the gentleman in the front here's question about investors and grandfathering potentially. I think what you said is that for what's going to take effect, the temporary, which could be years, by the way, that you're not going to adjust that portion until later. Is that correct? Or is there room to adjust some of the height requirements and all of that now? Yes. Okay. All that only the waste pay. For example, this morning, all the architects say, okay, we, we can do it like six minutes too, too short. Yeah. So we have now a, a document when basically they recommend a higher distance because the, if you start a singing fan, it's going to be too small, right? Mm -hmm. So this is the, of course, we're going to change it yeah. because we have now a, a, yeah. a good thing to consider and something that with uh, that makes sense, right? So that's the thing that we are looking for people from here. Yeah. This is just a, a start point for us. We need to something to start, right? And, and of course we know that, for example, I say that if we have like the, this time to do and nobody make any comments, I would say no. Mm -hmm. really. I think, I think what you're trying to say, and, no, and people are not understanding by the face, I think in 20 days or thereabouts, you're, they're going to have an official proposal to exactly. work with. Okay? Okay. It's okay. not official it's regulation. Like, uh, that was proposal that right? to work with. And then there's another yeah, time here. Yeah. 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 Okay. Am, am I correct? Yes. Yes. Right. So it won't be enforced? Or? It's a proposal yeah. to work with. And then, and then just to add to that, that's, that's like your first draft that's going to be Right. Put out there, and then after that, there's another month for more comments. So that, there needs to be extra revisions. They have that month, so the, the actual final proposal won't be for like at least two months, and probably two and a half months. So there's a lot of room. You had to we had to start somewhere. There had to be something on the table to get this discussion started. When does it become enforced? Enforced? Well, after. It would have to first be met at least two and a half months, yes. and then I think there's some time about educating staff, training people. This yes, is a, it's a process because people at the uni, I believe, are going to have to be trained and have you know interpret this and understand it. So it's you know we're looking at several months out, but there's two whole months of opportunity for everybody to comment. The, I think the, the fear here, no. uh, in some case, maybe it's a, a strong word, fear. No, no, it's fear. Apologies, but mm -hmm. that. Long-term projects take much more time than that to be developed before they can even be submitted to, to the water board for a yeah. letter before it even goes to the muni. Yeah. And I think people that are in process right now that have, may have spent thousands of dollars preparing yes. that yeah. are now saying they're afraid that right now there's everything they've spent or, or are in the process of doing is now going to be completely blocked in a mere two and a half months. Because two and a half months in the realm of reality on a project is very little time. Yeah. Yes, well, uh, I mean like 80% of the people that make me a call was about that, you know, like, hey, but I have a project in September that took me like eight months and mm -hmm. several yeah. money. So that's one of the things that we need to consider. Or an IR study. And study. try to find a, a solution. But we need to see how many people have this situation and see how this works. Well, generally, if your application is under that window and you're already in, you're fine. The second thing is if you're trying to do something that's really ridiculous, you probably get shut down. Well, ridiculous. So if somebody has a water letter signed and it's submitted, they're considered in tramite on the old rules. That's, yes. that's easy to understand. Yes. Yes. Can we get an idea of the timeline of when? There's a possibility that it's going to switch over. Is it going to be three months, six months? Well, we're just replacing it. The first, I understand that, but I'm just saying that's that's the proposal. But when would it be actually? Two and a half months. Well, from today. 
Yeah. It's really hard for the municipality, to be honest, to say right. accept things, but that's around the time. It's really hard for the goal is two and a half. And that's like the first time. And starting next Monday, you can start sending your submission to the municipality because you're in the area. If you don't have your plans, they're probably going to go. That's my question. Does anyone understand the hypocrisy of this whole two and a half months? We've done our things, we've done ours. We don't like new houses around us, so we're going to set rules to stop these things. Does anyone have a good conversation about the No. 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 It's your opinion. It's not really an opinion. I mean, it's logic. It's reason. It's, yeah. it's what everybody's saying. It's how can you say it's not it's not not it's not not saying it, Jeff. This is informational. It's not argument. This is an echo chamber in here. The same people that show up to these things. They do the same things amongst themselves in their in their dinner parties. The last one was, as somebody who's, who doesn't have a strong opinion, Jeff, and I've said this to you one way or the other, if this is an echo chamber, the last meeting was too. Yeah, and, and, and in response, you know, as a reaction to... Okay, excuse to, me, yes. But it's yeah. the same thing. Go ahead. You have a question. I'll translate it okay. in a minute. Okay. Where is the lado legal of all this? I've worked on two plans of regulators, and I've seen all this effort, Irse por un tubo, años de esfuerzo, claro. si esto no se sigue la legalidad, uh -huh. tiene que existir unos índices de fragilidad, uh -huh. eso toma muchísimo tiempo y no pueden ser extemporáneos, uh -huh. tienen que ser nuevos, uh -huh. pueden ser del 2010, uh -huh. pueden ser del 2009. Uh -huh. Correcto, eso es algo muy importante. Pero pregunta, ¿quién es el director o quién es el que le está dando sustento legal a este proceso? Porque... Yo le voy a decir una cosa, si llegasen a ponerse de acuerdo, que lo veo dificilísimo, sí. usted va a tener que estar blindado legalmente, porque al final de la historia, que usted tenga un manual así, va a levantar a alguien la mano, va a ir a la sala cuarta y se va a desplomar. Entonces esto tiene que ser hecho con una precisión legal, que dentro de esos están los índices de fragilidad, tiene que haber una audiencia pública que ya al parecer ya hay un mensaje que no está todo el mundo muy de acuerdo y lo segundo que yo quisiera como desarrollador urbanístico entender que esas propuestas tienen que tener un sustento técnico claro. que yo vea que hay una altura que no cabe ni un, ni un este ventilador me hace creer que eso es una ocurrencia, no un sustento técnico. Claro. Okay, so I'm going to translate. Uh, I participated in two, in two processes of making urban planification legal. It's called plan regulado. It's something new in this country, okay? We are developing as we go. When you say 20 years, that's pretty big. And when we have 100 years planning, uh, planning having zones, and that's a lot of material to work with. Costa Rica is very fractioned, so there are municipalities every 100 years. Okay, so they developed this concept of plan regulator, which is like uh, the limit of, of each uh, municipality has its own perspective, okay, urbanistic guidelines. I participated in two very delicate ones. One is in Quepos, which uh, as you know, it's in the Central Pacific. Uh, I participated from the private side. We were developing a marina, which was very delicate. It had a huge impact. And it was very hard to get a community up on board. But what I learned is that there was a legal process, very delicate legal process. And it was not just two guys making this up in a meeting or, or in a coffee table. I've seen these coffee table efforts going through a drain after a lot of effort. Because if you don't follow the, the, the rules perfectly, Someone at the very end could raise their, mo their hand, go to their legal instances, and bring it down. So for me, envisioning putting a plan like this in two months 
in my mind and from my experience, it's impossible. Mm -hmm. Because they will, every lawyer, I don't, I don't know who's a lawyer here, but a lawyer will find one bad word in your document and bring it down. And once it's frozen, and it's taken to the legal instances in this country, five years. Okay? So I would like, that was my question, who is the legal advisor of this process, number one? And the second is, who is behind this? Who really is moving this to happen, and what is its intention? That's who I want to have right in front, and speaking up front. Are we going to... What is that? What is the vision, not based on, on rules, but what is the vision of this place? From the urbanistic point of view, we have a very good starting point. There are protected areas. Those are the ones that everybody should be jumping in to protect instead of limiting the rest. Because we have to grow. There has to be a concept of sustainability. And that sustainability doesn't mean to stop the growth. It's happening all around the planet. But here we have a very good starting point and we have to figure out a way as a community to sustain those protected areas. It's like a project with a golf course. That's the asset of the project. This community was based on their, that concept. Now it's protected area. Everything around it should, in a sustainable way, um, coexist. But we can't limit the right. That's the legal aspect I'm talking about. We can limit people's rights. If it's not well, well documented, mm -hmm. technically speaking. Mm -hmm. So you just can't say it's 40% of the land that you can develop based on what? That's the technical aspect, and we have a very important aspect, so technical um, back mm -hmm. that is called the, the fragile. Mm -hmm. uh, Fragility index study. Correct. Yeah. Yeah. Those take a lot of time, but I've been, I've been as the, um, a witness that they come with like a very, very narrow scope, and they look at this and they say all of the rest is this project, and it's not the truth. If you go five minutes later, you see there's no forest. So you, those are very delicate aspects that I wish we could be looking at those legally to see if they become technical. <coughs> so I've heard and and I would like to volunteer myself because what I've seen like from other communities that I've learned in these two establishments of the planet regulators is that the concept of sustainability is very 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 far from from being everybody's uh, concept. So agreeing on sustainability, on how we can be sustainable, I think those, those could be the first two months. Trying to agree on what is sustainability. And not imposing a set of guys that I really, really would like to know who's behind this. And what is his real interest. And whoever is behind this has to come with a concept of sustainability to get a hundred humans to agree. And then we can work on rules. I want to do it very in Spanish because I'm not sure how to do it. Más bien de, bueno, el plan que está destinado para la ya, ya. Tenemos desde ya cinco años, desde, bueno, más de seis años de estar trabajando. Hasta es, el año pasado comenzaron realmente los avances porque se hicieron muchas pero muchas oportunidades. ¿verdad? Cada región tiene sus particularidades. En este caso, Minae tiene IFAS aprobado desde 2009. Nuestro asesor legal es ahorita la asesor del Consejo, ¿verdad? que es el que nos está apoyando ahorita. Hicimos un contacto directo con el hombre de la experiencia en plan de reguladores. Si él no tiene experiencia en plan de reguladores, 
En verdad, esto es tiempo perdido. Tal vez ahí sería importante incluirlo del equipo planificador. Sí, de hecho, ahorita también estamos terminando el proceso del equipo planificador, que es el proceso nacional. Es distinto al abogado. Es que el abogado. En verdad, he visto un plan regulador en listos para implementarse. Sí, sí, sí. Una sala cuartazo se trae todo abajo. Y ahí tenemos eh, la estrategia de trabajo es estar preparados para eso. ¿verdad? Es un poquito... Yeah, okay. No so queríamos que se confundiera. Sí, And we have made some advancements, really good advancements in the last year and a half. That's when it really started moving. Um, thank you for your comment, for sure. There's going to be, it, everything is being done very carefully because we know that this is a very dedicated subject and we know, when I say we, it's because I'm part of the commission of the regulatory plan. Uh, as Jose was saying, the um, lawyer from the municipal council is sitting at every meeting, so he is the legal advisor. And the, what you have to say? this is a very important. This is not a regulatory plan, right? This is a regula, regulation. Um, regulatory temper, plan. Yeah. So it's very different. The process is very long. As I said it before, it's going to take two to three years. We, we kind of disagree on that. I really hope that it's sooner than that because I don't want to keep going to the court every other week. But it's okay. So, um, <laughs> eh, and then there's also going to be a technical team. So, as I mentioned it before, At the beginning of last year, there was a new manual produced by the government, and it's a manual for the development of regulatory plans. And the manual really became and changed a lot of the... So it's like everything that you need to do in order to do a regulatory plan, and that includes hiring a uh, equipo planificador or planning team that is the technical experts Uh, the commission and the municipality have seen several of them. We interview a couple of both institutional and private um, groups that wanted to do the plan regulador for Nicoya, and we ended up picking uh, the national university. So the national university has a division that does plans reguladores. They have approved several plans reguladores already in the country. Uh, I think they're working in Atenas, in Esparza. And those are the ones that are going to be doing the regulatory plan also for Nicoya. The reason why we pick them is because their approach is very participatory and also because they have a, a place here in Nicoya. And, you know, just when we met with them, you know, they gave also the better price, of course, because that's also important. And also we have support of the legal team also. Sorry, from the finance and all this. The, the municipality has a budget of 40 million so colones for the first year. Money and, and he's very interested in getting this going. And the second thing that is very important is that, as Jose was saying, the first lady of the country is an architect. And that really, she has been putting all her energy into planning for the whole country. Uh, there are some funds that are non refundable It's called the Green Fund, something very long, mm -hmm. uh, that the central Costa Rican government got. And they started calling all the municipalities, doing an evaluation of all the different cantons of Costa Rica. There's 82. 82 now with the new one? All right. I think Grecia, there's a new one coming. Anyways, they have those funds. And uh, they did a study, and Nicoya was one of the lucky of the 30 municipalities, mm -hmm. 20 municipalities that were prioritized in order to get these funds. And we got prioritized because we are one, according to their studies, that are at the most risk with uh, climate change. So that's why they pick Nicoya, so there's going to be money coming from there also. So it's a really nice kind of falling together, and that's so I, I think it's a good thing. I just wish that we could share a vision. And that's part of the process. A regulatory plan takes years to get into rules. Mm -hmm. What is the vision? But very far from being called plan regulador. This place is unique, so don't. I wish as a new resident, please don't approach it as a Nicoya place. Mm -hmm. This is not Nicoya. Far from being Nicoya. I've been a user of the municipality in Nicoya. Mm -hmm. Sorry for being like really direct. Huh? You guys don't know what you're doing. <laughs> And actually, I, I know the place. Seriously, I seriously, seriously, you, seriously, I've been a victim of. of That's your opinion. Right? I disagree. Oh, no. okay. in, 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 in Pelar, in Pelar, in Pelar, they did a fraction. I submitted my plans. And he said, Oh, this looks like a fraction. Well, it is. 
is that they have been submitted in one by one. So now you're noticing, two years later, that this is like a whole project. Oh, yeah. More questions? So that's yeah. not like the right approach. That's mm -hmm. not, yeah. that's what I have been experiencing. Yeah. yeah, I'd like to say something. As a business owner and a resident that's been here for 12 years, uh, I know, well, for myself, and I know a lot of uh, tourists and vacationers and other people that live here, we came here for uh, more of a tranquilo, laid-back lifestyle, and the nature of Hosara. And surfing, obviously, I came to surf. Uh, so, obviously, there's been a huge explosion of growth in the last five years, and with that, uh, aside from the protected areas, which we agree are protected, the lots that are designated for building seem to be uh, built uh, way too well, with way too much capacity, which is affecting the nature of the area that we all love. Not to mention, you know, as far as sustainability goes, we have waste management issues and we have water issues. Okay. So I think the vision we all know is we want to we want to keep our nature, we want to keep growing with business and development, but we need to do it in a reasonable fashion. So, this is the first attempt of that, which I appreciate, and I think a lot of people do. Uh, instead of everybody, you know, the real estate guys and the architects fighting with the NCA and the municipality, this is the time to negotiate. So, why don't you, everybody check their egos at the door, and Work together to build a structure that we can all live in. That's reasonable for everybody. That's not what Steve <laughs> has explained it in very simple words. I'm sitting here and I'm listening to him and I'm going like this. This guy just explained exactly how most of us feel. And I have to say, Nikki, just before, like the morning meeting was really, really good. Like there was. Basically, I think almost all of the architects were here that live in Nozara. Some that I didn't even know, well, but, except for you, of course. But everybody was super uh, excited and participatory and positive, and they said, we want to be part of this group that is going to be giving feedback. Even the first firm already delivered their feedback, and that's that's what we're trying to do. You know, This is a, a first step. Now let's work into seeing what are the amendments that we have to do in order to be able to move forward. There is going to be changes. Changes are uncomfortable and I have a process of adjustment. Uh, mm -hmm. So, you know, well, let's let's try to navigate them in a smooth way. Let's talk about two things. Things. I wanted to know, is it possible that you could show the slides that you showed this morning with all the numbers, the development um, numbers? Oh, the first one. were really, we skipped over in this meeting, but, you know, numbers don't lie, they don't have feelings, that's why I like them. Um, and then I'd like to introduce her right here and, and Jason, yes. And who she is and where you're from. <laughs> well, I am the administrator of the Wai Ocean and Wai Bay Refuge. And of course, for us, this is very important and we are really happy to have a municipality who is involved in the planification and in integral planification of the territory because we have a protected area, of course, everybody knows that, but that is not only that. All the things that we do outside of the refuge is going to impact that area and especially it's going to affect the development of everybody. So, like the sir explained before, if we don't have, um, how do you say, like proper good practices uh, in a, I don't know how to say it in English, but like, we need to have like, what is practice? Good practice? Yeah, good practice. Best practice. But it's Best not practice. only like the, the attitude of the building, it's more of that. And sometimes that's why we have in the morning like that kind of feedback of the specialists and the experts. Because sometimes we can think in the attitude of the buildings, but if we are not approaching the lights or the whole concept of the sustainable construction, it's not going to be very, be, uh, maybe very effective. So we have to, we need to have an uh, integral approach all of, all, of all of these, right? So for us, it's very, very important in. The idea, and I think the most important thing, is you are uh, with the opportunity to bring the ideas, the technical criteria that is very important because this is not like an opinion or this is not based in a subjective issues. This has to be followed by technical criteria and legal criteria, like I, he said. So that is very important because we can have different opinions and very subjective and 
it's impossible to, how do you say, like to agree, agree with everybody. So we need to have something like fits to everybody and has something with technical criteria, okay? So that is very, very important for the municipality because it's not like they can accept everything that the people bring, but the opportunity is to have the opportunity to send that to them. We have an open process with the management plan of the refuge. We have several sort of meetings trying to receive this feedback. And Excuse unfortunately, me. not in every process that we do, we have the feedback. And it will be very important because we have a lot of things that we can adjust. And that's why we need the support of the people and like the people feel involved in this process, right? So now we are in the perfect moment for to do that. And the sad part is we have already a development that is not very sustainable. And that is not me saying that. We all, and especially the people who live here from 20 years or more, knows that. And that's why, unfortunately, we have to bring this kind of instruments or tools, like a government, to try to regulate the situations. That's why we have laws. Otherwise, if we have people with the same interest and following everything, we don't need this kind of process, right? But at the end, we have to develop this because it's necessary. And it's, it's not nice and when we bring regulations, of course, we as a government, we are like the bad, the bad guys and the people that nobody likes. But it's part of our job and it's part of our responsibility to try to protect the resources that belongs to everybody. So just, you know, bring the comments, bring the information and that is going to be good for the refuge, that is my main goal, but of course it's going to be good for everybody. And so be sure that all of the Technical criteria is considering this too. Mm -hmm. Any more questions? So, like uh, the sir in the back said, uh, we have totally different uh, uh, different uh, scenarios from Nicoya to here, and we know that. For example, if you consider this information for the engineers and college. Uh, in architect's college, and these red points is where we have more split properties. Uh, you see we have more move in Nicoya Centro and uh, in Osara. And that's the same line with our numbers for construction. So this is my person for last year numbers. We registered like 650,000 square meters for construction in only Nicoya. And for those, 21,000 in Nicoya and 26,000 in Osara. So you can see now that we need to do something or based on this, it's our decision work in Nicoya and Osara. Of course. Mm -hmm. uh, well, we have shared a distribution in here. And distribution and the income tax that we have for this consumption. Can you see? In area, we are kind of close edge, but this is bigger when we talk about the money. So that means that we have more important construction here in Osaka. We can be on the study group of our room. Yeah, basically, the, the, yeah. that's what we do. Any more questions? Sorry, example, in, what I'm doing in my, personally in my projects, every time that for certain reason there's like a dead tree that's not working or is not aligned with the development, I have agreed with first, and this is an idea, with Costa Verde that for every tree we chop, we are adopting seven other trees, not just to create a counter effect, but just to create a better effect. But that's a vision that I have personally in my profession started. Mm -hmm. I just I would just love to have a conversation about what is the vision of, of a development, sustainability. What is it? What is the concept that we're gonna base those rules on? And I would love to participate. Sure. But when I hear rules, it's very difficult to all agree on rules. But let's agree on a vision because I agree with, uh, with Steve. I'm very much aligned with that. I fell in love with this place just 
for all he mentioned. But it's very hard to see some few neighbors just blocking the possibility of someone like me four years ago of saying, no, you can't come back. You can't come and join us. You can't uh, enjoy this with us. This is like becoming more exclusive. And I think uh, rather than making rules that will be exclusive, we should make this more inclusive. So believing in a concept of sustainability is what really uh, has diminished me to participate in, in most of the other efforts that I have done because yes, it's technical, yes, it's legal, but there's never a vision about what is the real, uh, uh, like how does how does the municipality of Nicoya picture Nosara? I would love to see that. Because this is a very unique place. It's a very unique place. It seems to me that this is your opportunity to yes. go to the community, to participate in the community meetings. This is an information meeting, and I appreciate your opinions, but we have a presentation, and it's, the doors are open for you know, every Monday or whenever you want to go to talk to it, and there will be community meetings. Since that the first meeting is going to be Monday at 4 p.m. right next door at the Development Association Office. We still have to confirm with Michael that it's not anything on the report, but if, it, any, if anything changes, I can reach out to you to Francini and let you know. What I just uh, heard is that in two more months or three months, uh, rules are going to start being applied, okay, but under what vision? Are the, are the developers going to share their vision of what they're building right now with community? Because I would like to see that. Yeah, I would like to know what what is being developed right now that I am unaware of that I'm driving past and think is green space and is being developed. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. That's the vision I'd like to so, see. I'm, I'm on board. I'm from Costa Rica and I'm more concerned than, I guess, I've been coming here for 25 years. I think mm -hmm. how this place has been turned up. But I would like to say that closing the doors to development is very hard. It's no, very no, 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 you're saying closing, 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 closing the doors. doors. No, but you're no, talking no, about vision, no. and another meeting we were talking about transparency. So mm -hmm. let's, on both sides, mm -hmm. let's be transparent. Mm -hmm. Let's mm -hmm. share vision. Mm -hmm. I would like to know, as a, as a relatively new member of the community, I also am holding myself accountable. I'm, in, I'm tens of thousands of dollars into plans, but I care about this place. Mm -hmm. And I want to know that I'm doing well, the right you thing. you refer to developers, are you talking about like every individual that is coming to town? Because I see them as developers, you know? Sure, every, every individual, individual and people who are doing multiple projects or subdividing lots into multiple yes. lots that we don't know about. Yes, yes but like from my side, okay. it's there are a lot of individuals coming to town individually. So, so let's find out about what they're building too. Hey, host, 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 um, I just invested almost all of my life savings and took out a loan on a piece of property to build something here that I could keep forever. However, with these new, particularly the percentage, I'm going to be unable to build what I would like to build. I'm planning on doing it sustainably. I'm not going to cut down any trees. However, I'd be happy to share my plans with anybody in this room, but that percentage is going to put me in a financial hole. So that's where my concern comes from. And I think that there are a lot of other people who may not be at this meeting who feel very similar. And, excuse me? You can say it to my face if you'd like to turn around. Don't say too fast. Build fast. Well, I can't. I can't. How am I going to develop plans in two and a half months, get a letter from the water board, and submit them? Well, what's the alternative issue? We don't do anything because there's always going to be people doing things. No, no, no. So how do you all get to agree with that? Does that mean you're okay with ruining her life savings? No, no, no. I'm not, I'm not, like, trying to play the victim card here. I'm on board with doing some sort of... But bring a proposal. I will. But I'm just saying, if this does go into effect, and, like... It's gonna, it's gonna ruin, the, it's gonna mess up a lot of people, and I think that this, the percentage is pretty dramatic. Can you bring up the proposal of what I proposed? I have it. I will talk about it. But remember, he said 65 was the, it's the max now, and now we're talking 40. There's not that much room, and they're looking for input. So maybe it ends up as 50 or 55. Well, and I don't, and I'm not, and I, I agree. I don't think what. 
people shouldn't be building line to line, but there's also nothing in there about lateral setbacks. What's what's gonna go on? I can go build on my line and not put windows on there, and there's nothing in there about that. Okay. I mean, there's things like that that need to be considered. That's, that's the just the I'm sorry, that's a good question. Do you have something in there about setbacks from the boundary of the, no? Just maintaining yeah, right. the official ones so in the The official, box. actual ones. What is the setback now, Paul? Three meters or? Well, it, it depends where we are going to go. If you are building one story and you want to do like windows, you need to set back like a one and a half meters. For two stories, you need to be three meters. And that's what I'm saying. You are not storage. Without windows, you can just build the, the, the wall. Yeah. What, what the but you need to build with a full concrete wall, not not fire okay. materials. <laughs> what, one of the questions that I have, uh, you guys mentioned that in the uh, in the temporary proposal that might go in two or three months or whatever, that there weren't going to be any specific zoning differentiating between residential and commercial. Could we talk about the possibility of potentially including that? Because it, I, I believe those are very different. Mm -hmm. And if somebody, you know, gets restricted a little on the size they, of house they can build, um, it's it's unpleasant, but they might be able to uh, deal with it. Mm -hmm. If somebody invests, borrows money, goes into the whole process, and then that difference of buying the very center of Guiones versus lying in, you know, uh, mm -hmm. up in the hill in Palada or something, it, they're very different. And I think that that, that that restriction ought to be different as well. You can't, just because it's within a mile, there might not make that sense, not only for that particular case, but also the economy of the mm -hmm. of, of Nassar. Yes. Well, it is like a basic a tool that we're trying to, to improve. We can talk about Sony right now, it's too early, right? Uh, we just find like the legal and technical support to do something like that. And it's very basic because it just regulates the footprint, height, and lighting, and how big it's going to be a lot. That's like super, super basic. So that, that would mean that anybody from actually right now forward you could only potentially build a house. All commercial ventures are pretty much out the window. But we can talk about what kind of building, you know, it's like commercial, it's not... It's not commercial, it's generally all of your property. Yeah, 100%. I mean, they need to be able to build it all these things that you are, we are mentioning, they will happen with the regulatory plan, but there's more studies to be that need to develop, and those are going to be happening in mm -hmm. you know, two, three years. Yeah, we're going to have a total totally makes sense, plan. but some people may not uh, be able to economically support <coughs> waiting two, three years making payments on a lot that they expected to have a business on that would generate something yeah. to help them pay for that lot. So those commercial ventures, um, it, it, it's, it, I think it's a very different case and a very real case. Yeah, but the problem in Costa Rica is if you make any investment based on the idea that the laws and regulations aren't going to change over a long period of time and you're just going to be able to flow along and do it the way you want, is baloney. Everything changes in this country. Constantly. You can't make your investments based on that. I, I if you agree, did, you made a mistake. I agree, but it's less than less than less than four months where it was changed on it. Well, nothing's going to happen in four months. No, we're hearing two and a half months. But well, why do you want a business to have a bigger footprint than a house when you, you're probably going to have good parking anyway? So why, why 40, 50, or 60 percent not big enough for a business? And if it's large enough, it has to go to technical study, which takes a year in. So let's say, for example. Uh, I buy a small lot and I want to put a couple uh, little cabins on to rent them, right? Mm -hmm. And maybe a little restaurant. Mm -hmm. If I build, like for example, uh, an old Malenque, very Costa Rican style, that already goes over the six months, uh, six meters, so I, I can't do that. So that Costa Rican vision of the restaurant thing, well, that's gone. A couple cabins, I have to build them one floor unless I want them to be ovens for the guests. 
Was it? Is it that kind of thing that we can yeah. talk in the meeting? Yeah. I mean, we, that's we, we this is the time that we have to be yeah. here at three because they have another activity at the library. Yeah. So let's make sure that we put out questions. Yeah, quick question. Is it? Elaborating on what he said, is it feasible to present a temporary plan that is based more rather than direct and indirect impact zones? You know, the hill on Palat is very different than G section. Is it feasible to suggest a plan based on sections and neighborhoods? Come to the meeting on Monday. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, Cookie, what's the next step? You keep saying Monday. What happens on Monday? Uh, well, Fred comes here every week as part of like a satellite office from the municipality. So, he offered because there's people who don't want to use that NCA conduit, and that's perfectly okay. So, they can come every Monday to deliver their comments to Josue. Please write in the paper that you deliver your phone number and your email so that they, you can get a proper reply. Uh, but in the month, in the meeting earlier, it was agreed that there's going to be a group of architects mostly that want to give input, and they agreed on me with Josue after 4 p.m. here in, in, in the Development Association office where they have the satellite office. So that's what we're going to be doing on Monday. And it doesn't have to be only this Monday. Josue is here every Monday, and for the last for the next 20 days, uh, business days, which is a month, he will be receiving these kinds of feedback until there is another version produced that then will go for publication. 20 more business days, okay, another month before it becomes final. That's the goal, but you know, it's a municipality, so it might take a little bit longer. Could this on the final of that commission. The regulatory plan commission. Well, when we send the last time to the regulatory plan commission to the council, that that this first draft, the council send it to the urbanism commission. So those two commissions are seen. And then the council. Yeah, thank you. At the end, the one who votes on it is the municipal council. Is Imbu involved in those things? Imbu? Imbu is a, yeah, of course, it's the entity that you have to present everything when you're done at the well, end. And we're getting contact, absolutely. Actually, we met them like for the last year, like once a month. And the manual that we're using is from Imbu. The manual, the manual is from Imbu. <laughs> Any questions? Yeah? No, I think it was right. No, you didn't want to do one thing. Oh, yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.